Hello everyone, welcome again. So now in this video, we are going to discuss the third type of JavaScript pop-up that is JavaScript alert. And we are going to take the help of method is alert present and get alert to handle the JavaScript alert. So before that, let me give you an example of JavaScript alert. So if I click on try it, so this is a JavaScript alert pop-up. And we are going to see how you can handle with the help of Selenium. So again, in my script, I'm going to add one more method called public void handle JavaScript. Or let me call it handle alert. Throws exception. So first of all, I need to navigate to this location. So here, browser dot click and the next path of this button so this will be div after that it is going to generate me a pop-up so I need to call browser dot get all window title and there will be a array st string title equal to null title equal to browser dot get all window title and based on this I'm going to switch to that newly open browser window so browser dot select window and this will be title of one as we know that at the zeroth index the title of parent window will present and at the first index the title of newly opened pop-up will be present I need to bring it in focus so browser dot window focus and browser dot window maximize so so this will be the pop-up for us and we need to click on this try it button to generate the JavaScript alert. So this will be browser dot click and the next path of the button. So button text equal to write. And as I know that it is going to generate me a JavaScript alert, so I'm going to use this method browser dot is alert present. And if the alert is present, it is going to return me a true, otherwise it is going to return me a false. And that alert can be consumed with the help of browser dot get alert. So this is method is this method is going to consume that alert and also it is going to print the text which was there at the JavaScript alert pop-up. So after this again I will close the current pop-up and switch back to the parent. So browser dot select window. So this time it will be title of zero. And I will bring that parent window in focus. So let me put a debug point over here and I'm going to comment out this method and I'm going to call object dot handle alert and let me run this script in debug mode. So it, it has hit the debug point. So let me do a step over, which is going to populate all the title of Windows pop-up. And I'm going to select this newly generated pop-up, bring it into focus, do a maximize. And now I'm going to click on try it button. Although you are not able to see the alert, po alert pop-up in the UI, but it is generated in the backend. And that can be confirmed with the help of this method 
if the alert is present it is going to return me a true otherwise false so as you can see that it has returned me a true because there is an alert and I am going to consume that alert with the help of this method browser.getAlert so it is going to print me the string which was present at the alert pop-up and again I am going to close the current pop-up window switch back to parent and bring it into the focus and continue the execution of our script so let me do a small modification in our script I am going to remove this two line and I am going to again let me put uh, okay let again let me run it in debug mode so it has hit the debug point let me do a step over to select the current op newly open the prompt sorry pop up bring it into focus do a maximize and click on try it button to generate the pop up so as, as, as you can see that we got an exception and exception is there was an unexpected alert and uh, that string which is present at the alert pop up so it is very important that whenever the alert is generated you need to consume that alert with the help of this two method otherwise your script will fail with this kind of exception so again if I uncomment this part and just let me remove the open pop-ups and I'm going to rerun this script in debug mode so it has hit the debug point so let me do a step over now it is going to click on try it which will generate the alert and we are going to consume that alert with the help of browser.getAlert and then we are going to continue our execution so as you can see that our script finishes its execution without any error so it is very important whenever the alert is generated you have to call this to method just after the event which caused the alert generation otherwise again you will get some kind of exception saying that there was an unexpected alert so in this manner you can handle the javascript alert with the help of selenium so that's all for this video and thanks for watching